Welcome to Around the Dog World here at the Newbury Showground. A beautiful setting for what we hope will be a super summer show. Welcome to Southern Counties. Finally, we have something resembling a summer show. And you may have noticed that we welcome back a familiar face. <laughs> nice to see you, Marina. Thanks very much. I've been looking forward to getting back for absolutely ages. <laughs> well, as per usual, we're going to get all seven groups this, this weekend and best in show. But we also have a must watch for any potential puppy buyers. That's right. Some of the UK's top breeders give their top tips for finding your perfect pup. But first, we need to catch up on the action that we've missed since our last programme at Birmingham National. And this weekend, our expert to guide us through the recent shows is Di Johnson. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Di. You're asking me. Now, our last outing was at Birmingham National. The following week, the Dog Show Fraternity all travelled across the border to uh, SKC, the Royal Highland Showground. The former expert on the programme was, our, was yeah. the best in show judge, Pam Blake. One of who our did own. She, yeah. Who did she choose her Well, she winner? chose the same terrier, the Wire Fox Terrier, the Travella Striking Steel, yeah. something like that. Super dog, bred by Bill Brown Cole, great kennel. His father bred champions before yeah. him. I'm more familiar with the father, probably. <laughs> and a super dog. And, and, and a, a very young dog as well. He is a young dog. Two tickets, two best in shows. And well deserved. Three groups. <laughs> he looked great, he looked the part. Mm. And that lovely American cocker that we said last year we were going to watch, didn't we? <laughs> Pearl's a singer. Pearl's a singer so yeah. I, I would think Pam Blay had a lovely day. And heading back south, stopped off in Somerset for a Bath Championship yes. show. Yeah. Uh, and we've seen, we see the second double winner of the year. The great shepherd, um, Elmo. What a stunning dog. This is a dog that has captured the imagination of dog people. Yeah. Maybe united dog people into deciding the sort of shepherd. <laughs> the dog is charismatic. Yeah. The handler is a showy, exciting handler. The dog responds to everything he wants. Um, quite moving as well, Simon. He actually won the group under Ellis Hume two years ago mm. at Crufts. And this was the week we said goodbye to Ellis. So for close old friends of Ellis. Mm. It was a very moving to see yeah. Ellis's choice. And I know Ellis would agree with me. I think the dog's looking better now. <laughs> he's mature and uh, he's, he's an exciting dog. And of course, we're now here at Southern Counties. A beautiful day. Oh, super day and a very well laid out show. This is one of those shows that's obviously run for the exhibitors. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking forward to the groups. Hope we meet again afterwards. <laughs> we will do indeed. We'll catch you again for some reaction to the group winners. Okay. Best in show judge here is Bob Gregory. So we need to find out who his first winners will be. Groups judged today are Gundog and Utility. First in the ring is Utility Group, judged by Brenda Bambury. The Bulldog 1840. <laughs> the Dalmatian 2021. The Japanese Chiba the Kazon, two, two, seven, six. The Raza Astro, two, three, one, two. Standard Poodle, 2538. Now the Miniature Poodle, 2493. And the skip again, 2574. <laughs> After 
decision time now. A really super set of dogs, I must say. Really lovely examples of their breed. And the best of this is the Akita. Number 1788. The girl, the blue dog, number 1943. Second is the group. Third of the group, the one that has to go. Number 2312. And fourth, the standard So the winner of the utility group was the Akita, owned by the Red Witch Clan. As you can see here, we've got quite a few of them here. So all of you bred them, is that right? Arlene was actually handling today, and the dog is known as Keeper. Uh, Dave, can you tell us a little bit about Keeper? Yeah, Red Witch born this way was the top winning puppy all breeds last year. There's took a group at Scotland two weeks ago, and this is his third group, and he's about 19 months of age now. So exciting. Very exciting, and Very so he was li he's li living up to his name. Yes, he took the champion stakes at Birmingham as well, so he's done everything we ever asked him to do from the uh, moment he started showing. And I understand you've done the double as well, you've won the puppy group too. won the puppy group with a new half-brother to him, so that's great. That's Will I Am or Mega Dope, whichever way you want it. So it's going to be a great journey, <laughs> great journey home for you guys. Anyway, thank you very much. Now, Brenda, you were judging that group. Yeah. What was your overall thoughts of your group today? Well, I have to say it was one of the best groups I've ever judged, ever, anywhere. I couldn't believe the quality overall. But the one that stood away was the Akita and close up the very, very good Bulldog. And, and, Thank you to win it. <laughs> and that's quite a statement from you, Brenda, because you've obviously judged many, many groups yes, over many indeed. years. I mean, what was it about this group particularly today? I just think because the overall standard was good. Sometimes you get a group where um, there are stars, as they were here, uh, and then others um, are not quite ready or whatever. But this group was lovely. And uh, I think the Akita won it very well and looked good that's my opinion and uh, the bulldog was very very good and then all my others fell into line so you can't say more than um, have uh, that number of excellent dogs in my opinion I'm with Frank and Franco. <laughs> now this guy to my left is the most important guy in the ring, but this one was the one that topped the ring. This is Franco and Julietta. She's the litter sister to the Crufts group winner. Now Frank White, you were judging the group today. Yes. What did you make of her? I mean, you obviously loved her. I think she's a fabulous quality uh, for breed specimen. And uh, you know, she's not exaggerated in any way. She's well balanced, good proportion. 
and just really shouts Labrador to you. And you had a, a lovely big ring here yeah. to assess your dogs and you moved them in a really particular manner. What were you yeah. trying to look for? Well, basically when you're uh, moving them, you're looking for their movement to cover the ground for the function that they are bred for. And you want to see if they still hold that quality and shape when they're moving around as well as when they're standing and you're assessing them. Now, Franco, just one word from you. How happy are you? Yes, very, very happy. <laughs> because because uh, it, it's not easy. The win in England, for, for me, is my dream. <laughs> well, congratulations, and thank we'll you. see you in a couple of days' time. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, Di, very exciting first day of Southern Counties. Yeah, they were exciting you, groups. You must have really liked the, the finish of the utility group. Well, of course I did. You know I've got a soft spot for the. Well, they're good Akitas, aren't they? Yeah. And that bulldog over from Spain, mm. what an exciting dog. Really moved well, didn't they? Yeah. It was a lovely group. Yeah. As the commentator said, and, and the judge, one of the strongest groups she's ever judged. Yes, I can believe that. But it must be a pleasure to get groups. <laughs> well, it was, I remember. <laughs> um, and then we look to the gun dog group. Yes. Uh, the judge Frank picked Franco and another beautiful Italian yeah. La Labrador coming and stealing one of our groups yeah. again. I stole people's hearts at Crufts. This is his bitch, of course, yeah. not his dog. But wasn't she lovely? I yeah. thought teeming with quality. Her movement was lovely. She was well coupled. They're a joy to watch. The man and the dog respond to each other, which is, you know, great. I thought all four placings were good. The Welsh, as, as we've loved for years, yeah. the American Cocker, we're back to that <laughs> subject, Simon, and Sharon Pinkerton all was fielded an outstanding German wire. So what a good lineup. We're fortunate to see dogs of this calibre. Chairman was sat in the audience tonight. Yes. What would you ask him? To care. To care about us a bit more. To remember that the Kennel Club is supposed to be for the furtherance of pedigree dogs, and we are pedigree dogs. Um, I want them to care about us. I want them to share our interests. I want them to stop caring about the RSPCA and care about us. They stopped my life, effectively, for mistakes. I see myself as the judge that was banned. He must be working the X-Factor. 
So our winner of the Hound Group was the Greyhound and this is Claire Millwood who's owner of Diego. Many congratulations. I know at the end of a very long day for you guys but yes. actually you and your sister had the most incredible day. Awesome, awesome day. Couldn't have been any better. Um, it just kind of went from strength to strength. You win. We won the ABNSC with Diego. Brilliant. Rushed off to go in with the Afghan. Won the ticket and made, made up Axel, my Afghan male who was sat on two tickets. So even better. Then jokingly said on the phone we need to get second ticket on the sister. My sister did the double with her sister, so and then she took the best of breed, and it kind of, it, it was just an amazing day. Just one of those days that you you never forget. It's not hit me yet. It, it just you kind of, you you just don't have days like that. And and to win under a judge, he for me, is one of my most respected judges worldwide. I, that is just a massive, massive deal for me to win under somebody as respected as uh, Paladin Dino. So that that kind of just icing on the cake. Well thank you very much Claire, fantastic day for you and another person that actually had an absolutely fantastic day was the winner of the Hound Puppy Group. So Mark Smith, congratulations, I understand you've had quite an incredible day. It's been amazing, yeah, um, just came here for the experience really and yeah. uh, he, was, he was in Minor Puppy, uh, got right. first and that kind of just got the ball rolling everything seemed to just fall into place, it was just... You finished the day winning the Hound Puppy Group, what else have you won throughout the day? Well you got first Minor Puppy, yeah. Reserve CC and Dog, yeah. Best Puppy and Breed, and then the Pound Puppy as well, so we're back tomorrow for <laughs> Best Puppy and Show. So. And, and this is your first show and his first show, and your first show dog? Yeah, first time for everything, yeah. It's, it's uh, just everyone's been really helpful up to now as well. So we've, right. um, he's been going to um, Ringcraft classes, right. a couple of Daxon people there. Everyone in the Daxon ring's been great, yeah. helping me along, oh, giving me pointers and stuff. And um, couldn't have gone any better really, I just can't believe it's happened. Well best of luck tomorrow night and we, we hope to see you again. Yeah, thanks, uh, just hope it goes well tomorrow I guess.
So the winner of the toy group was an English toy terrier, and this is Nick, who bred the dog. And I, it's fair to say that it's quite unusual for an English toy terrier to actually take out the group. Yes, it is. There's uh, in the last ten years there have only been four English toy terriers that have won the terrier, the toy group. Um, we've been lucky enough to have bred three of those. So, um, and this, this this little bitch Stella, um, she's our third generation of toy group winners. That's amazing. So was it just quite incredible when the judge walked towards you, you just thought, no, I can't believe it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, I mean, she's, a, she's a beautiful bitch and I've always been very, very confident that uh, she would be a champion. I think she fits the standard perfectly. Um, she gave, made a champion on the day and then went to go on and win the group though and under such a, a internationally renowned judge as Paolo Dondina, it made it even more special. And what does it mean to you then when someone like him actually puts your dog first ahead of all, all the others? Well, I think... Um, as a breeder, I just think to have your breed recognised by a judge of, uh, of such fantastic repute it was just a, an amazing day. Yeah. Well, she put on a stellar performance, <laughs> do you like the pun there, yep. <laughs> to, to get through to Best in Show. So Stella goes through to Best in Show on Sunday night and let's go and take a look at the Terrier Group. Decisions have been made. End of day two, and we've just seen the Terrier group. Richard Allen, you've just won the Terrier group again. Travella striking steel. How many shows is that? Uh, fourth show today, and his fourth group win, so we uh, couldn't have done any better, really. We, we've seen you twice now. Two best in shows, two CCs, four groups. Can you have wished for anything better? No, in a word. You bring a dog out, you think it's a good dog, but you still don't know how they're going to perform in the ring. Unfortunately, he's taken to it. It's like it's second nature, so that's half the battle. When we saw you at Birmingham National, he looked like he was having fun in the ring, and after you moved round, you could see he was just he just wanted to play. Yeah, they've got to enjoy it. At the end of the day, it's a long day for them, it's a long day for us. They're not robots. If they don't enjoy it, they're not going to perform for you. You've handled a lot of dogs over your time. Have you had any dog at all that has won as well as this, right out of the gate? No, no. I've had a lot of success with, uh, with other ones and four groups with the first four CCs, but she'd been to quite a few shows before that, so 
none from the first four shows now. Well, I think all the other group winners are uh, a bit worried now, but best of luck for tomorrow night. Thanks very much. We'll do our best and uh, keep our fingers crossed. Well, Arlene, congratulations on judging your first Terrier group. How do you feel it went? Oh, well, I enjoyed it very much <laughs> indeed. So, uh, as far as I was concerned, it went quite well. <laughs> Tell us about your winner. We've, we've seen it winning a lot recently. I thought it was lovely, very well put together, very nicely balanced dog in very good coat yeah. and moved particularly well. What about your placings, the, the two, three and four? I thought the Airedale was very nice. In fact, it, it was um, a tough decision between the Airedale <laughs> we and... We can see you thinking about that quite hard. <laughs> could you really? Well, I, I did think about it quite hard yeah. because they were both very, very nice. But I just thought the wire just had the little edge there. Fantastic. Well, this uh, Terry Group winner has already got a couple of best in shows in the bag. You must be hoping for tomorrow night now. I hope he gets it again. <laughs> that would be very nice. Right, so that's the end of day two. Thank you, Di, for hanging around. Yeah. Start with the Hound Group. What did you, you make of the Hound Group? I thought it was a very good group. As a matter of fact, Simon, let's run them in. Three groups, all full of good dogs, I thought, which means the society has chosen uh, capable judges through the breeds. Yes. But, but the hound group, Paolo Dondino, a great judge. Um, the greyhound we've seen win a group before. Yes. In fact, a reserve best in show last year, but a good quality greyhound. Of course, Paolo Dondino, a very energetic judge, yes. um, and then he went on to judge the, the toy group. Yes. He held us in suspense right until the last moment, yes, and then went straight to the English toy terrier. Yes, which is quite an unusual group winner. Mm. Very classy little breed and a very accomplished breeder. And of course, you do realise that Paolo is a solicitor in Italy, a prosecuting, you know, so, so he's quite used to being um, on stage <laughs> and is fun to watch, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Um, I think you could have picked four or five group winners out of that group. We are very lucky to see dogs of this calibre, I think. And then finishing with the Terrier group, it's a bit of an ominous finish. This Wire Fox and this Airedale, I think, is that how the, the whole year is going to end up? You said there were good Terriers there that still could have won, weren't there? I mean, the Wire is, is just taking people's breath away at the moment. The judge today, Mrs Needham, it was her first group. What a lucky woman to be presented with as many good ones as that to choose from. But the Wire's bang on form extremely capably handled. Well, of course, the Airedale one at National Terrier, a real top quality Airedale. I think people that have come to Southern Counties this year have had their money's worth. Bit of sunshine, good dogs, what more do you want? Absolutely, I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sound to the room. Dave, we speak to you yet again. You won the working group this time. How do you feel? We won the working group, the utility group, and the puppy group. So, great day. Yeah. Great day. We might struggle a bit now with the toy dogs in front of him, but we'll see. We'll give it a whirl, see what comes out. I think a lot of people will say if anyone can handle him around that big ring behind a toy, you can. I don't know about that. <laughs> we have good days and bad days with him. It's difficult having the Akita in front as well, which I own. So, conflict of interest today. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, better chance of winning best and show that way. Chance of winning something or nothing, yeah. <laughs> as the days go. Well, best of luck and we'll see you in a couple of minutes in best and show. We'll give it a whirl. Sir Richard Kinsey, congratulations on judging the working group. Tell us what you thought of your, your group in there. I like the group, very strong group. A um, lot of good dogs out there. Like the Bouvier, second time I've judged him and given him <laughs> the group. Giant Schnells are pushing him very hard, very clean action. Liam Berger, my, which is my breed, best I've seen him move for a long, long time. And Tobin Husky, yeah. again, very clean, powerful dog, capable of doing a good day's work. And the Newfie. You had plenty to choose from. Yeah, plenty to choose from, yeah. Um, what, what made the, the Bouvier stand out? He, he's grabbed your eye before, but what is it about him? He's just solid. Every bit you're touching him is solid. He's well-constructed, excellent shoulders. He owns the ring. He's got that extra little bit of sparkle that you need in a for a group winner over, you know, um, you can't find anything in him that not to like. <laughs>
So, Paolo, today we had the pastoral group. You judged yes. two groups yesterday and you were back on centre stage today. Absolutely. And there was a, some lovely pastoral breeds in there for you. Yes, there were some uh, very strong and some others less, I think. But anyhow, I finish in the pastoral group with something that really pleased me because this uh, Norwegian uh, Bahun, in my opinion, is the best I have ever seen in my life. So we don't have many in Italy, but I've shot very much in uh, Scandinavia. And uh, this is absolutely a beauty. Now, this is a very, very special win because we've just spoken to Paolo Dondino, the judge, and he actually said that your Norwegian Bahun, Hello, Bahund, was the best one he'd ever seen. Which is very, very, very kind of him. <laughs> I can't quite believe it. What were your thoughts when he walked towards you and pointed at you? I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was just pleased to be short. I was pleased to be in the group today because he's still a baby and we were thrilled when we made the shortlist and to actually win the group. Well, you can hear Mo's quite happy about it. <laughs> and I also very much like the Australian that was a fantastic mover and all the four I plays were very good dogs, quality dogs. Tell us a little bit about him. You said he's quite young. Um, yeah, he's 10 months old. He's my first boo hund. Um, I've actually brought him into the family. I've had Alaskan Malamutes as well, and uh, he's come in as a hopefully a junior handling dog for my three-year-old once he's old enough. And thought we'd have some fun with him. I didn't realise it would be quite this much fun. <laughs> First of all, could I just say, ladies and gentlemen, please don't believe everything that you've heard about me, because the truth is definitely much worse. <laughs> and this lady moved in with a rough collie, and I thought that that dog was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. He let this bitch out and Pat just went oh, and I said you shut up I said we haven't got her I said we haven't got her in the car yet shut up. she's doing the standards anyway uh, Lily goes in and she said um, Miss Turner Miss Turner lacquer is prohibited here in the States so Lily said it is a tome and all I've not put one up with lacquer in it air well, she had a little 10-inch toy, and its top knot was about here, I guess. And when it moved, it was pulling it to the side. It was like leaning over. to potential dog owners thinking about buying a new puppy? It's not like buying a car. You've got that dog for at least 10 years, at least. So it's a big commitment. Do your homework. Like, you can't do enough. Kennel Club website is fantastic for that. They've got a list of assured breeders. Go in, go to shows, talk to people that in, within the breed that you're actually interested in. See if that, that's the breed that you actually want. Find out about a breeder even before you actually make a call, maybe ask somebody else, I'm thinking about getting a puppy, what are they like, etc. But when you get hold of them, we don't really like just doing it all by email because readers want to speak to them. Ask all the questions. If they've got nothing to hide, they'll give you all the answers. If you don't think they're giving you all the answers, there's a reason why, so avoid it. Go to recognise accredited breeder preferably. See the 
parents, you can always see the mother there. If it's a breeder, she should always have the puppy's mother there. Have her in with the puppy, see what her temperament's like, see if the puppies are coming to you, if they look healthy themselves or they're lively, and the puppies creep away underneath the settee, away into a corner from you, that's a mistake to take some of that. The breeder may convince you it's only because they don't know you and it's mum's here. They should be outgoing. Puppies should be happy outgoing little things at, at the age of buying them out. I always advise them to research as much as possible. Uh, they're very welcome to come and look at all my uh, dogs and we can have a chat about the breed. And really it's not at that point that it matters whether they buy a puppy from me or not. So it would be very important to go to an experienced breeder? I think that's one of the most important things because you have a background of wealth of information and knowledge uh, which most of them are very willing to share and you have also an immense amount of aftercare from them. You know, if you run into problems, they're the first people to ring up. So don't think it's just because you found a breeder, they're automatically going to give you a puppy. They're going to interrogate you as well. That dog's there for at least 10 years of its life, so it's a big commitment. Find out especially about health checks, and when you're buying a puppy, always make sure that you check whether the parents have been health tested for the relevant tests that those breeds actually want. Do this out to a breed, make sure it suits your environment, and make sure it's coming from a recognised breeder, not someone who's simply selling for money. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be a puppy that hopefully you're going to have for a long, long time, going to have lots and lots of fun. You want as little problems as possible, and let's make sure that that's the right puppy that you actually want at the end, and it's certainly the, 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 the breed that you actually want. The winner of the utility group was the Akita. Next up is the Labrador. It's one, 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 two. And now for Fox consideration, the Greyhound. If you have a last yesterday's catalogue, it's 4118. The grey ladies and gentlemen. And now on the table, my box terrier. From yesterday, if you've got the catalogue, it's 4457. The my box terrier. We do have, we are still awaiting a couple of the, uh, the puppy group winners for the set up hearing. If you'd be so kind to come to the set hearing now. And now, on the toy group, the English Toy Terrier, the clues in the name, is number 5269. The English Toy Terrier, ladies and gentlemen.
believe it's happened but there was two dogs in there with a real unique connection but Arlene here has got best in show with Keeper the Akita yeah. how delighted are you first over the moon absolutely delighted his first best in show and this one has won a lot hasn't he he was top puppy all breeds last year he won the group at east of England last year at nine months of age five cc's in puppy finished the year with seven cc's incredible and it's not often we actually see this man to my left smiling this is Dave he was actually handling the Bouvier who was the winner of the working group and actually went reserve best in show Movado just right. tell us a bit quick thing about the dog the Bouvier has got 17th group today got his Dutch title had a best in show before and that's his third reserve best in show and fourth, sorry. Fourth best in show now. <laughs> fourth reserve best in show. And tell us the connection between the best in show winner, the Akita. Oh, well, we bred the Akita all together in the team, my wife and Arlene. This is Arlene's first best in show with one of the Akitas. And you actually went best puppy in show as well with yeah. another Akita, oh, a half brother. No, we went best puppy in show with a half brother. Unbelievable day. Unbelievable. So you pretty much cleaned up. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting older. <laughs> so I'm now joined by the best in show judge for Southern Counties, Bob Gregory. Now, what did you make of your lineup there? Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Each one, we are waiting for something extra coming through. And to so have the first dog through and the last dog to be in the complete final, wonderful, wonderful. And so your winner was your Akita, followed by the Bouvier. the Bouvier. And what separated those two? Very little. The spark in the eye of the Akita, its use of its ear, and it's just so free and easy in action. It just had that little bit of edge over the Bouvier, but both two absolutely superb dogs. Was this memorable for any reasons at all? I think whenever you're invited to do best in show anywhere, it's memorable. This, along with all the others, most enjoyable, a really enjoyable day. Best in show at Southern Counties 2013 is Redwich Born This Way, Die, what a winner. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> no secret I admire this Redwich Akita Kennel. This is a super young dog, just teeming with quality. He's a great mover, a richly deserved best in show in a good lineup under a very special judge. Bob Gregory is very respected by his peers, a real dog man. And not a bad day for them. They get best puppy in show as well. And, and Dave takes the reserve best in show as well. I'm an old lady. I've seen a lot of dog shows. I don't ever remember that happening before. The reserve best puppy, the little smooth dachshund, that was that fellow's first show. When he won, he actually said, does that mean I've qualified for Crufts? He <laughs> went on to win the puppy group, and then he went reserve best puppy in show. Don't tell me dog shows are not straight. If you've got a good enough dog, you'll win. This is a great sport we're in, young man. It is. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us again this weekend, Di. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again at Windsor on Around the Dog World.